Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. If you're new in this channel guys, so this is my channel Tech with Pri and I post tech videos on every Monday and Thursday and you can find the list of the videos here and you can watch the video that is required for you. Okay, so it's all tech videos guys and uh, first series I have completed with Windows Server and now we have started a new series that is Cloud Computing. Okay, and also don't forget to click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, you can check my Facebook page and my Insta account and you can follow that. Now, enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Now, this is the 12th video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now, in my last video, we have understood the concept of the Azure IAM, that is the Azure Identity Access Management, and I have shown you how you can give someone access with the help of IAM and uh, in your subscription level in Azure so that they can come and use your resources. And at the same time, you have seen how you can restrict access of a person with the help of the Azure policy. So if you missed that video, guys, I would request you to go and check that video. The link would be there in the description of this video and also you can find the link here on your screen. Now, in today's video, we are going to learn a very, very interesting topic. That is the Azure Monitor. So monitoring is very, very important concept uh, for IT and for any software industry because without having monitoring you'd be able to you won't be able to track your how your probably virtual machines that is working what is the network speed is going on how is the cpu health and what are the other things and if you can monitor all this thing then based on that you can take further action so for an example if your ram is consuming very high level so you can check go to the server or your virtual machine and you can check what's wrong is going on so monitor is something which will indicate you that something is going wrong so you need to take care of your vm or it can be any other resources or any other service sounds good so azure monitor is a centralized location you can say with the help of that you would be able to monitor all other things like storage accounts for an example virtual machine kubernetes service web application networking anything so you can check all those details in a centralized location and based on that you can take action so we'll see a few things and we'll understand it in a more deeper way okay so let's go to the azure portal so here i am in the portal.azure.com this is my azure portal you know and uh, here today we will see the monitor so you can just search for the monitor option and you will see so this is the uh, overview of the monitoring tab guys and uh, by which uh, you can configure things and this is again the centralized place where you can uh, uh, you'd be able to see all the details about for example like insights of applications virtual machines storage account containers networks all these things and this applications means like uh, the web application that you have hosted in your Azure account. This virtual machine is not for a particular virtual machine, but all the virtual machines that you have uh, deployed, right? But also you'd be able to see for a particular virtual machine. So if you want, if you have hosted one virtual machine and you want to get the reports from that virtual machine, the diagnostics data, the metrics, you can do that also. And we'll see how we'll do that. All right, so uh, let's go to our virtual machine that we have created. So I'll click on the virtual machines. So this is the test VM guys. Now, again, as I mentioned, so if you, you can configure the monitoring things or diagnostic settings metrics uh, from individual by going individual resources, like if you have a web application, virtual machine, web, uh, Kubernetes service, storage account, you can go each of these individuals and you can find C on the left hand side. If I scroll down, I can find the monitoring tab and here also you have the insights alert metrics diagnostic settings logs all this thing now on the other way you can go to the azure monitor and you can configure from there also so azure monitor is a centralized place where it will show you all the resources that you have deployed and their status and their details and here particularly if you go to a resource like a test vmm in the virtual machine you can configure this also so i will just try to configure it from here uh, from the monitoring tab so first we'll go to the diagnostic settings guys and this is something is very very interesting but before going into diagnostic settings i want to show you quickly if i go to the overview tab of the virtual machine uh, you can see there is a tab called monitoring and also i have shown you this when we explored the azure virtual machine in that video now this is something you are already getting all these details of your cpu average network uh, and you can choose by last one hour six hour 12 hours in this way 
Now, what if you want more? In a production level, you need many other statistics also to monitor your machine, monitor your virtual machine or server, anything. Now, for that, we need to use the diagnostic settings. I'll go to the diagnostic settings again under monitoring tab. And here, if I enable this guest level monitoring, what will happen? You, you can read this section to get the uh, clear idea. But uh, let me tell you, like it will install an extension in your virtual virtual machine in your VM. And that extension or that particular little piece of software will take all the information from your virtual machine, like all the system health and all the other things. And it will give it to it will store you in your storage account all the details. OK, so that you can get all of this information and later you can use the logs to find different queries and we'll see how this logs work. So first let's enable it and for this it will create a storage account and I'll click on enable guest level monitoring. And now it would take some time guys at, as it will create a storage account and it will install the extension in your virtual machine. So let's have a cup of coffee and once done we'll get back. Okay, so it is done and it took almost three to four minutes to install this and to give this screen. So we are under the diagnostic settings and I'll quickly uh, go through with it. So it will give you the performance count performance counters regarding CPU memory disk network and all the other things the event logs. So if I just go to the performance counters, you can see it is selected like the CPU memory disk network again and uh, by 60 seconds of time, it will give you the update or it will give you the result or the monitoring details. So if you want, you can just change it to the from 60 to 10, maybe 10 seconds you want update like that. And you can also go to the custom section and you can see all what are the all details that's coming. Like for an example, you can see it is selected as CPU. So CPU means the processor we know. So it will give it to you the processor time, the privilege time, the user time, the processor frequency, all this data under processor. Same way under system, it is uh, going to give you all this thing. If I go to the next page under memory, if you can go back to the basic, it will give you the details of memory. So what are the details? These all details like these all details, memory cache byte, available bytes, pages, page faults, all these details. OK, so this is how things work now under the log section. So this is basic Windows log guys. So under that you will get the, you know, uh, any critical level of error from the application, uh, any warning, same way under security, any audit failure, if it happens, it will give. So this kind of thing you can get also from going into the virtual machine and get the information, not this much of information, but yeah, most, most of it. But this is something which is helping you, uh, like you can just come to the Azure monitoring and get all these details. You don't need to go to the inside of the virtual machine. Isn't it interesting? Now crash dumps and sinks. This is not something that much important. So we'll skip that and this is not uh, have ever used. And finally we have the agent tab. So under agent tab, you can see we have the, uh, I mean, this is the piece of software that I talked about and which is installed in the virtual machine. Okay. And if you want to remove these diagnostic settings or diagnostic agent, or if you reinstall it, you can just come and click on remove and then you can install it again. OK, so this is all about the diagnostic settings and it is storing all your data in the storage account. Now, whatever the change I have done, I can save it here and it would see uh, you can check it is saving. And you can see after uh, one or two minutes, you will get a message like successfully updated diagnostic settings. So this is all about diagnostics. And if I now go to the alert, this is very interesting guys alert is the you can understand by the name of the alert. So when something happens, it will give you a message or it will give you an email staying saying that your virtual machines. This is not working. Maybe the processor is not functioning well or maybe this rate has gone high CPU rate or something. Now how you can configure that. So I'll quickly show you uh, just click on the new alert rule. And from here you have to choose your resources for which you want to select or create the alert. And this case, it is the test virtual machine test VM. And under that, you need to set a condition. Now here you can choose any of this condition like CPU credit consume, CPU credits remaining, uh, data disk read bytes, anything. These are all the matrices, metrics that is the chart. Uh, network in total. So if I just go to network in total, and if I see, you can see it was all pretty good if I see the chart. And here uh, on September 10, it has consumed like, uh, more than 70 MB of the networks of the network. 
okay and uh, so what is the alert you can set here you can just choose operator like greater than so if the threshold or this value is greater than um, you know maybe 70 mb or 20 mb you can generate an alert you can configure that the threshold value here and you can choose the unit under tb gb mb kb all these things okay and after you do that once you do that then you need to go back here and you need to choose the action group now under action group you will mention what are the things that you want like what are the alert what would be the alert type and where, where it will come like it can come to your email address if you specify one or it can come to a mobile app, mobile phone also as a sms okay and under that also you have some alert rules that you can set up uh, with the description and other things okay so this is all about the alert now let's go back to the virtual machine again and now i'll go to the metrics so metrics is something it will show you the chart or data uh, this is under the test vm virtual machine host and under the metrics you need to choose the uh, like anything you can choose for example premium os anything i mean there's so many things you can see and you can get the uh, graph for it okay so this is how you can uh, add the you can use the metrics now under the alert actually i missed one thing uh, if i just go to the add condition there is also another type of alert is called the activity log activity log means like you can see create or update virtual machine so if someone try to create virtual machine or update that virtual machine if someone delete that virtual machine uh, so you will get an alert for that so if you set it up like that that if someone delete the virtual machine you can get an alert that this person has deleted so these are the activity log i mean when someone is doing something in the virtual machine some activity is going on and if you want a alert if you want an alert for that also you can get that okay so this is very very important guys the diagnostic settings and the creating the alert this is important and you can i would request you to go and test that and we have to check the metrics and finally we'll see the logs and logs is nothing but you can come here and query about it you store all the information in the storage accounts now you can ask uh, query and you can get the answer so you don't need to write any query code relax you can just uh, you know run like what is the virtual machine available memory you can just run this query you can see all this command is there and there is uh, no report for that fine let's go back so if i just availability if i go to the availability you can count the heartbeats uh, of your virtual machine for last hour and it is 57 so this type of information you can get from here virtual machine free this space space like for diagnostics you can check um, find all the windows services that stopped in the last 30 minutes so if you want to check any services if stop or not you can go and check there and there is no service that stopped for my virtual machine so you can understand this is very very important uh, thing guys you can get so many different different information about your virtual machine and that actually uh, you might thinking that uh, for testing purpose maybe you don't need you can just uh, play with it but in actual real environment these kind of informations are very very important and it is required so you got the idea of azure monitor guys i believe uh, so i would request you to go ahead and practice with it the more you practice the more you will play with this uh, you will get uh, more understanding about it okay so i remember when i started a uh, virtual monitor or azure monitor i have spent a lot of time with that to exploring to exploring all the other options so please go ahead and do that and if you have any questions you can just come to the comment section and ask me uh, if you find this video helpful click on the like button and uh, please share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people thank you see you in the next video bye bye take care